Well, Donald Trump has been pitching his candidacy to minority voters. And right now, we're waiting for him at a rally in Virginia. It is scheduled for just about an hour from now. Earlier today in Virginia, he sat down with law enforcement officials in Stafford County uh, in advance of a speech there that we're expected later on tonight to talk about law and order. That will be the theme. But before he went to Virginia earlier this morning, he met with Hispanic leaders at his Trump Tower headquarters in New York City, meeting with a group called the National Hispanic Advisory Council for Trump, a strategy session to appeal to Latino and other minority voters. Yesterday, Trump stopped in Louisiana, as you know, where he and his running mate, Governor Mike Pence, well, they toured the Baton Rouge neighborhoods that were so horribly and heartbreakingly devastated by all that massive flooding, and he met with homeowners who were deeply affected. From there, he flew to Michigan for a rally where he had a message for African American voters of our country. African American communities have suffered under democratic control. To those I say the following What do you have to lose by trying something new like Trump? What do you have to lose? Well, Peter Ducey is live in Fredericksburg, Virginia, where Mr. Trump is scheduled to speak about an hour. Peter, we're hearing, though, about a, a, a protest that kind of got out of control at one Trump event last night. Completely out of control, Eric. Last night, our cameras were rolling as some anti-Trump agitators were abusing Trump donors, leaving a fundraiser with the candidate in Minnesota. Some of these Trump donors were punched, some of them were spit on, and some others were just threatened. But things did escalate to the point that law enforcement was walking frightened Republicans back to their cars, suggesting a level of danger for Trump supporters that we have not seen in several months. Now, just a few hours before that, Donald Trump did tour flooded parts of Louisiana, and he met with residents affected by the high water. And we just heard this afternoon about what he thinks about what he saw. How was your trip to Louisiana? Uh, it was absolutely great. We really, uh, they're amazing people with tremendous spirit. The spirit is unbelievable. Thank you. Those comments were made during a roundtable meeting with Hispanic leaders at Trump Tower that wrapped up a few hours ago. The campaign and the RNC are trying to figure out the best ways to pitch Trump's proposals to the Hispanic community by gathering these Hispanic leaders from 12 different states today. Eric? Yeah, and Peter, it's not just the Hispanic community. He's also trying to reach out, as we know, uh, to the African-American community. What is he telling uh, them? Last night in Michigan, Trump spoke directly to African-American voters or anybody that was listening uh, to tell them that he doesn't think they have been very well served by overwhelmingly supporting liberal Democratic politicians, especially in inner city areas for the last several decades. So he does think he deserves a chance to make things better. Listen to this. No group in America has been more harmed by Hillary Clinton's policies than African-Americans. No group. No group. If Hillary Clinton's goal was to inflict pain on the African-American community, she could not have done a better job. It's a disgrace. We are here now in Hillary Clinton's running mate, Tim Kaine's backyard, Fredericksburg, Virginia, about an hour outside of Washington, D.C., with no traffic. Uh, there are thousands of people in the Fredericksburg Expo Center right now, and I was just outside where it is very hot, and some people have been waiting all day. There are still uh, many hundreds, if not thousands, waiting to get in. We don't know how many more are going to be permitted in. Sometimes uh, some of these Trump events, they have had issues uh, with the fire marshal, where it just gets too crowded. Uh, but Something else that's notable, they do have a teleprompter set up, so it does look like this is going to be the latest in line of scripted speeches for Trump, and he has made news every time that he has read from one of these teleprompter speeches that represent a new way to stay on message for the, uh, the Republican candidate. Eric? Yeah, uh, Peter, it seems since Kellyanne Conway and others have, have taken over, he's been more on message, relying on those uh, teleprompter speeches and, and sticking to some uh, issues of policy. Peter Ducey, live at the rally. We'll bring it to you when uh, Mr. Trump does indeed take that stage.